ഓം ശ്രീ കൃഷ്ണായ പരമാത്മനേ നമഹ ശ്രീ മഹാഭാരതം ചാപ്റ്റർ സെവൻറ്റി ഫോർ കരുണ ആൻഡ് ദി ഗ്രാൻഡ് സാർ വെൻ ഹി ലേൺ ദറ്റ് ഭീഷ്മ ലേ വൂണ്ടഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡൈയിങ് കരുണ ഹരി ടു ദി പ്ലേസ് ആൻഡ് ഫെൽ അറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സെഡ് എൽഡസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി റേസ് Radha son who through no fault of his incurred your great displeasure humbly prostrates himself before you when after humble salutation karuna stood up and grand sir greatly moved tenderly placed his hand on karuna's head and blessed him you are not radha's son young man he said in loving tones you are kunti devi's own first born narada who knows all the secrets of the world himself revealed this to me son of surya truly i entertained no dislike for you but i was grieved to see your increasing hatred of the pandavas although they gave you no cause for it i know and admire your valor and your open heartedness open handedness and i know also that you belong to the class of falguna and krishna in pravas it is proper that you befriend the pandavas therein lies the right path for you and who are their brother with the closing of my part in this war may the chapter of your enmity also close this is my wish karana karana listened respectfully and then replied grand sir i know i am kunti san and not chariot is born but i have eaten duryodhana's salt and must be true to him to be true to my own lineage it is impossible for me to go over to the pandavas now you must permit me to repay with my life if it is so be the debt i owe to duryodhana for his love and trust i have erred greatly in word and deed you must forgive me for all it for it all and give me your blessings the great acharya who knew all the laws of right conduct and what karana said replied do reflect for a while and then do as you wish for that is the right way even when bishma was mortally wounded and lay dying the battle did not cease discarding the grand sir's words of wisdom the kauravas resumed the battle deprived of bishma's leadership the kaurava forces felt like sheep without a shepherd when bishma no longer led them indeed even as bishma fell wounded the men shouted o oh, karna you are the one left to lead lead and protect us the kaurava warriors felt that if but karna would agree to take up the command victory was certain during the first 10 days when bishma led the forces the son of surya kept away from the battle as already narrated deeply hurt at the grand sir's contempt karna had said so long as you are up fighting i shall keep aloof if you slay the pandavas and bring victory to duryodhana i shall be glad <coughs> and i shall then taking the king's leave go to the forest but if you be defeated and go to the abode of the brave i who am not deemed by you as an atirada will ride my chariot and oppose those whom you deem to be of great prowess than myself and defeating them bring victory to duryodhana thus had karna sworn and with duryodhana's consent kept aloof from the battle during the first 10 days now he went on foot to bishma who lay on his bed of arrows waiting for his end and saluting him addressed him thus 
veteran grand sir vanguisher of parasurama you lie on the field of battle struck down by sikandi if you who had reached the summit of right living and were an embodiment of purity itself must lie wounded in this manner it is clear that no one can attain in this world what he deserves by his merit you were the one boat on which the kaurava princess depended for crossing the flood of their troubles heavy indeed will be the blows that pandavas will now deal at the kauravas and great will be their consequent distress like fire and wind burning down the forest arjuna and krishna will destroy the army of kauravas this is certain turn your gracious i eyes on me and bless me who have accepted the command of the forces bishma gave his blessings to karna you are like the good earth to the seeds like rain clouds to living beings over ever dependable firm in your loyalty serve duryodhana and save him you vanquished the kambojas for him you put down the kiratas of the himalayan fastness for him you fought the girivrajas on his behalf and defeated them many more things you have accomplished for him take charge of the kaurava army now as your own rich possession and got it well may you lead the rodanas forces to success may you have every good fortune fight your enemies go karna having received the benediction of the grand sir mounted the chariot and rode to the battle field when the valorous karna entered the field on his war chariot Duryodhana's joy knew no bounds his sorrow at having lost bishma was in some degree alleviated this completes the chapter 74 om namo bhagavate vasudevaya